What's up, YouTube? My name is Caleb, and welcome back to Dreamland. Chicken Nugget Dreamland, whoa, it's a chicken. On this episode of Dreamland, we are going to be working on the mini theater there. Um, so let me just explain a few things. Um, during my... Uh, so what I had to do, I had to go through and I had to re-adjust um, the roof because it was all wonky and I just did that. And then I got was like, I'm just going to build the rest of the building out so like they can have two, episodes, two Dreamland episodes. And then in this episode, I'm going to finish the inside. So I, I'm not going in there yet. So I want to show you what I did. So I built a little stage. I, I, I laid it out. I finished the walls and stuff. This is what it's going to look like. Okay. It doesn't look that great. Like 120 million percent. But the stage is lit up. Um, and everything else is like lower down. So since of all the windows. We're going to be able to use this theater at night. Unlike that theater we can use it at any time of the day. Um, well, we will be able to. But this, yeah, so I'll also show you um, up here. Um, uh, right now, I just have some torches in the floor. I'll replace those with redstone um, lights. And then I have backstage. Um, yes, yeah, so I don't know what I'm going to build back here. And I don't know if I'm going to ever build anything back here. Just have like people just come back here. I probably will build something back here at some point. But just underneath the stage, but I plan to have like the control room back here of like the lights and that. Without further ado, let's get started building on this theater, uh, mini theater. Add some tables, like a bar, maybe the windows in. I don't have much in my inventory right now, so I might have to go back to the house, but I'll get started right now. Hello, it is Caleb, as I already said at the beginning, but anyway, this is a Dreamland episode, and if you are at all familiar with a Dreamland series, then you know what a fan I am of everything that has to do with Minecraft. Actually, that's not true. I used to watch every sort of Minecraft news video that was around, but I just don't do that anymore. I kind of just sit around... Um, and just play, and Jacob actually tells me that stuff. I used to tell Jacob, and now he tells me. Um, it's quite a experience, actually, learning from Jacob. Um, like, the fish update, I had no idea what was coming. I kind of knew, but I didn't. I, I voted for the mob. Uh, I got the mob that I voted for, and I kind of regret it. Um, you know, the flying mob, the... Ooh, I forgot the name of it. Let's use Siri. Ready? What is the flying Minecraft mob? Here's what I found. The phantom. That's right. Um, and the phantom attacks you after I believe it's three days of no sleep. Which is what, like 45 minutes? No. I think it says 10. So 10, 20. Yeah, so like 60 minutes every hour. And it, it'll attack you if you don't sleep. And this happens. So if you leave the game and come back on. Um, it'll attack you. Um, so it's it's actually really stupid, uh, and I hate it. When I was building this theater, uh, I didn't sleep for a couple of days. And when I went to go get something, instantly I'd be attacked by a phantom. I really think that it's a very stupid idea to have a phantom in this game. Uh, just be, I don't know. I wouldn't be able to build the, all the stuff that I do now uh, without Dreamland because Dreamland has kind of been the savior of you know what I'm doing because. I don't get a lot of attention, you know, from YouTube. I mean, I would love to get attention from YouTube. That's kind of why I do it. Is that my dog? Oh, God. Like, a couple of videos ago, my dog was in the background of Dreamland for, like, a bagillion hours. It kind of was annoying. But, hang on, let me try something with the gain here. Let me see if that'll raise the audio up. Oh, okay. Let me do nine. Okay, I was wondering for like the longest time why I was just so quiet on Dreamland, 
and it's because I'm just so low on the audio levels. I found it out in the video. This is like smart Caleb. So what I'm doing in the video, let's talk about that real quick. This, this is backstage of the theater. The stage is on the other side of the wall. And I'm adding some lights on the theater. So we have the stage lights and then the um, floor lights in the theater and the upper lights in the theater. Just to like light the whole place up. Um, I don't know if I'm ever going to do any shows in this theater. Um, I'm I'm planning on remodeling the bigger theater. I don't know when I'm going to do that. Uh, but once I do remodel the bigger theater, um, I can get some of that done. Anyway, a bigger news is coming along. You know, well, the main reason I started Dreamland was so I can speed up editing. Because I was editing on like a little MacBook Air. Um, I tried to pump out 20 minute videos and I like to, I like to record up to the dot. Um, but I used to record on a little old HP. And then I didn't have any good editing software on there. So I transferred it onto USB and then onto the Mac. So I didn't want to do that to every single video, so I just recorded a whole bunch, and then when I went to edit it, it took like d almost the exact same amount of time it took me to edit the video to export it, uh, or it like took 20 minutes. If it was a 20 minute video, it like took 22 minutes or something to upload or to like render, and so it was kind of a long process, and I didn't really like to edit. I love to edit, um, but it was kind of annoying, and I didn't want to do it anymore. So anyway, uh, I got on the iMac right before the Dreamland stopped. Um, anyway, I got that, and that's what I've been using. Anyway, um, I got I have the Magic Mouse, and so I ordered the Magic Trackpad. If you guys don't know what these are, Google them. They're super awesome, both of them. But I have I'm gonna criticize the trackpad. Um, so the mouse, the, I, the mouse too, the mouse has, um, it's coated with a little bit stickier surface. Um, but anyway, when I was playing Minecraft, um, I used, on the trackpad, I, I can move my fingers up um, just a little bit and it will go through all the sockets. Um, but with the mouse, I just do that just a little bit and it goes through them all. And I have to like put so much concentration into moving it, it was just not worth it. I didn't want to play Minecraft on my computer. Um, so I ordered up the trackpad because I love trackpad. Apple trackpads are the best. I swear they are. Anyway, yeah, so I was using it and when I moved the fingers around, um, I don't know how to put my finger really on a big trackpad. This thing is like half the size of the keyboard. Um, so it kind of hurt my pinky, like in like the crease of it. It kind of just gets sore after like five minutes, but I love it. It's just like you can move it around. I'm moving it right now. Um, but then like... In the videos, I, if I ever wanted to record a Minecraft video, you can like hear this, right? And if I click or something, you can hear that, and it would pick up by the mic. But with this, I'm moving it right now, you can't hear me. And if I click, I don't, if you can hear that, it's very different. Um, but I could, to cancel that noise out, what I could do is turn off the clicking noise. Because if you don't know what a track, the trackpad is, it's a haptic touch trackpad. Um, if you don't know what a haptic track a haptic touch trackpad is um, is not it doesn't go anywhere um, when you push on it there's a motor that vibrates it which um, gives you some feedback um, you push on it it pushes back um, with like vibrators um, so it, it's accurate so like normally they're on a butterfly or not a butterfly they're on a like a hinge so like when you put you can only it's you can only really push in the corner but on this you can if I can be at the very very top of the trackpad and click and it works just like if I was on a regular old trackpad and I click the bottom now I use the magic the trackpad on the MacBook Air for a very long time and I loved it so much and it wasn't even an experienced one but I wish the trackpad was smaller you don't need a trackpad this big it's a little uncomfortable to use uh, but I, it's only like I got it today, so I don't know. I'll get over it. I pr I hope so. Um, whatever I'm doing is gonna be cut off now because I'm gonna give you guys some music to listen to. I love you guys. See you in the next one. Bye. Alright, what do you guys think?
Um, so far, I, you've only seen the out the in the outside, but probably during the speed build, you've seen some of the inside take place. So this is what it looks like now. If you remember what it looks like at the beginning, just a stage and like nothing. I um, the roof is like this. It's not having any skylights, just to keep the light out. Um, I added the big windows here, which was a lot for me to do, just because I want the light. Because I really can't put on a performance here. Um, even if I, um, I'll show that in a second, but, so I have all the tables here, like, the bar, like, in the middle, like, is there's the bar, also, like, the best, probably the best spot to sit in is here, so if we ever do a show here, that's probably where I'll be sitting to watch Jacob, or whatever the show is that's happening, um, so up here, I just have some basic lights, um, on the floor, so you can't really see them from down there, and I have some lights up here, um, to light up the backdrop, that's the only reason those lights are there. Um, and those lights up there um, are supposed to... J basically, the, those lights up there are only here. Just to, to light up that area up there. So it's not like light down here and dark up there. But um, just to like, keep the contrast. Um, and so it doesn't just look like we have floor lights. Because no place has floor lights. But the, I didn't know of a, a better way to add lights. Um, like put them in here maybe. But that I don't know. So I have a backstage, you really can't tell, there's really a cutout at all, if you're sitting right here, you kind of can tell, but at night time, I don't know, it's better at night time, so you come up here, there's a little step, um, they both go to the same place, right now there's nothing back here, there's gonna be at some point maybe, right now I have, um, the light switches, so, mm, I have the floor lights off, the ceiling lights are off, and the stage lights are off. Let me come out here and it's like not as lit up. And then we can, yeah. So, yeah. This is what I built in the next episode. Oh, wait, hold on. Before I talk about the next episode, think about this for a second. I spent like, what, an hour and 20-something minutes doing the redstone for this, basically. Most of that was taken up by that. Think about that for just a second. And how long is it going to take me for to do that? With those lights. It's going to be that huge thing in the middle. Let's let's go take a peek really quick. We've already wasted. I've already wasted so much of your time. Let's wasting a little bit more. It was dropped out of the sky there. This is not done. Obviously, I need to finish it. I just kind of left it. I was going to slap a sticker on it, but I I'm going to change it. And this is only here to be honest with you because the theater is uneven. But anyway, so what I'm going to do. I'm going to change all the glowstone in here to those um, redstone lamps. That is also going to be redstone lamps. And the stage is going to be lit up with redstone lamps and not um, glowstone. Um, and, the, and it's all going to be decorated on the side. And like there's going to be new seats. <clears throat> and that's not going to happen in the next episode. But I just wanted to show you that that's what will happen at some point. But, um, in the next episode, um, plan on watching me, um, let me see, let me see, let me look at my list here. Plan on me probably, uh, I don't know, I'll pick something. There's probably gonna be, maybe a restaurant, maybe a, probably a restaurant, um, I gotta fix that too. Wow, there's a lot, a lot to do. But I like it. It doesn't look that much different now. God, I saw something on the roof. That was skilled. I see all that redstone under there. Alright. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Caleb. You stop loving on the nuggets, nuggets. So good that you wanna.